Looking at the income tax formula, we're focused on line one income. Remember in the first half of the income tax formula is in essence an income statement, but just an outline of scaffolding, other forms and schedules flowing into these lines. The schedule C being one of them, it being in essence an income statement in and of itself, income minus expenses or business deductions, the net income of which flows into line one income of our income tax formula here. This is the first page of our form 1040. The Schedule C net income would flow in then to the Schedule 1, which would flow into page 1, line 8, as we see on the Form 1040 here. This is the Schedule C, where we have profit or loss from business, in essence, an income statement with income and expenses. All right, let's take a look at the general business credits. Introduction. Your general business credit for the year consists of your carry forward of business credits from prior year plus the total of your current year business credits. So if there are any carry forwards, I would recommend just from a practical standpoint for a new client, for example, and generally if you're doing a Schedule C in general, that's gonna make the tax return more complicated. So I would recommend putting the information into the prior year software, trying to mirror what is on the prior year tax return in that software so that you can roll forward the prior year information and that's particularly useful when we have carryovers because that can help us, the software can better guide us hopefully with those carryovers uh, in that process in that way. So in addition, your general business credit for the current year may be increased later by the carry back of business credits from later years. So if we're not able to get a benefit in the current year, the question is, well then can I carry it back to a prior year and or can I carry it forward to a future year to get a benefit in a tax year other than the current year? So you uh, subtract this credit directly from your tax. So credits different than deductions and that they're going to be, you know, dollar for dollar uh, benefit. If you had a dollar versus credit versus a dollar deduction, you would want the dollar credit generally because then you get the full dollar benefit of it, whereas a deduction will decrease your income, which will result in a benefit based on your tax rates. All right, useful items. You may want to see uh, form and instructions 3800 general business credit. So you can dive into that on the IRS website if you want to get into more detail. Uh, 6251 alternative minimum tax individuals. So you can find those on the IRS website. All right, business credits. All the following credits are part of the general business credit. The form you use to figure each credit is shown in parentheses. You will also have to complete form 3800. Some credits have expiration dates. Check the instructions for each credit to make sure